everyone, and welcome to today's Gale Force Points episode, where we are going to be talking about boat terms, boat vocabulary, and really boat anatomy. Now, these are terms that everyone on your boat should know, especially if you're a new boater. Because let's say you're going out for an outing and you need to dock your boat, and your friend is there and you ask them, hey, can you grab a line for my port, midship, cleat? Well, they might be like, well, what is that, or where is that, and you're, or you're pointing that one, that one. So it's really good to, to have these terms in your head and really understand them so that you can communicate with your friends and family when you're out there on the water. My name's Amanda, Emily's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. overall anatomy and the first word we have is the hull. What is the hull of your boat? The hull of your boat is the body of the vessel. It is that V shape that is holding everything in. Let's say you were at the dock, you were docking your boat and you scratched the side of your boat on the dock because you came in too fast. Well, what you really did is you scratched the hull of your boat coming into the dock too fast. Our next term is also very basic, the bow of the boat. What is the bow? The bow is the front portion of your boat. You could also use the word forward. Forward has pretty much the same definition. Forward is towards the front of your boat. Bow is the front of your boat. So there's a little difference there, but that is bow and forward. You normally use the word forward for bigger vessels. You'll see that on cruise ships usually, whereas smaller vessels, we just call this the bow. So right now I am standing in, Emily and I are having an argument, would it be in the bow or on the bow of the boat? I think, I think it's on the bow. Emily thinks on the bow. I think if it's on the bow, you're actually standing up here. I think right now I'm standing in the bow of I think my that vessel. Just sounds odd, but. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let's head to the back. You're probably gonna guess this one. We are moving to the stern of our boat. The stern is the back portion of our boat, but on larger ships, like a cruise ships, you might hear the word aft. Aft is kind of the same thing. Aft would be towards the back of your boat. So we've got stern for smaller boats. Aft you will usually see on bigger boats. Maybe you saw it on a cruise ship. And then our next word is transom. What's the difference between transom and stern? Stern would be this whole back area that I'm in right now. Transom is the cross beam. So it would be just the cross beam right here in your stern. So your transom is technically a part of your stern but your stern is not a part of your transom. That's how I would think about it. So my live well is in the transom, but I access my bilge from the stern. Right now I am on, I'll give you three seconds, the port side of the boat. So we have port and starboard. Port is going to be the left side of the boat when facing the front. That's how it's determined. This port is basically when you're facing forward, it's the left side. But if you turn around, it's still the port but that's just basically the definition. So when I'm facing forward, the left side is the port. So the port's always the left side when facing forward. Now a trick for port, there's a couple different tricks. My trick was that P for port comes before S for starboard in the alphabet and you read left to right. P, port, Q, R, S, starboard. That was my trick. Another trick is port is four letters, left is four letters. And there's another one about port wine I think you have your port wine before something. I don't actually remember that one, but I know there is one about port wine. So right now I'm on the port side of the boat and I'll just come over here and walk to the starboard side of the boat. Now, knowing port and starboard are probably the most important terms if you take anything away from this episode, when you're docking a boat, because you need to be able to talk, let's say you're docking the boat and I'm facing forwards and I said, oh, um, my left cleat needs a dock line, but I turn around to look at my transom and see what my engines are doing. And now I can't say my right cleat because I need to say my port cleat. So basically when you're facing forwards or backwards, all the sides of the boat stay consistent. Our next anatomy term is midship. So midship is not really a word you hear very often in the smaller center console boats. Again, it's something more often used on larger vessels and cruise ships. That's where I first learned the words forward, aft, and midship. I remember I was on the Disney cruise and I used to stare at the map and then I would get on the boat and say, which way's the aft? And I would try and figure it out. Well, it's a lot easier on this boat. So today we're in the midship. The midship is basically the center between your 
I was gonna say transom, but your stern and your bow, your aft and your forward. The midship is basically just the center area of your vessel. It's an overall term for the center of your vessel. Up next is the word console. So this entire piece of equipment would be the console. So the console is going to have your steering, your throttles, your electronics, your screens, your wiring, and usually a small storage compartment which you can access from the port side of the console. That's usually what your console will consist of. We have a center console boat, meaning it's literally the console, the entire electronics area is in the center of the vessel. Some boats have side consoles. There's a couple different types of consoles, but we are on a center console and a part of the console is the helm. The helm is where you actually steer and drive the boat. So if I wanted to get really nitpicky according to these definitions today, I would say right now I'm at the helm and right now I am at the console because I can't drive the boat from here, but I can drive the boat from here. The helm is where you actually drive the boat, where the wheel is, the console is the entire piece, the equipment, and usually your storage area as well. A cabin. Now our boat doesn't actually have a cabin. The closest thing we have to a cabin is the console. A cabin is really a place for passengers or crew. And to get more nitpicky, our old boat, our old 32 Intrepid, had a cuddy cabin. A cuddy cabin is a, usually a smaller cabin, seen very commonly on center consoles. They will have a forward cuddy cabin, which is usually you can fit someone to sleep in there. Um, we ended up just using it for tackle. And cabins are usually seen on bigger boats, not really center consoles. If you want to get really specific, a cabin would be for passengers and crew, and a, a hatch or console would be more for storage and things. Earlier, we talked about the whole of your vessel, which is the body of your vessel, but what would you consider all of this on top of the whole? It would be your gunnel. So your gunnel is where my rod holders are in my gunnel. I have cup holders in my gunnel. I can access my gas tank from my gunnel. I have cleats on my gunnel. So the gunnel is all of this area basically up top on top of your hole. We have autopilot running, friendly reminder, always pay attention to what's in front of you, even if I'm talking to you guys back at my, Emily's literally standing on the transom, or what are you, oh, she's standing on the camera box, which is <laughs> up against the transom, so the camera box is in the stern, or on the stern, I think it's in. Okay, so, next one. What is the widest part of your boat? The widest part of your boat is your beam. You should always know your beam on your vessel for docking purposes. If you call a marina and they have a slip for you, they might need to know how wide your boat is or what the beam of your boat is in order to make sure that their slip is big enough for you. So knowing the beam is very important along with the overall length of your boat. And the next one is draft. Know the draft of your boat. The draft of the boat is the, basically the amount of boat that sits in the water. So from the top level of the water down to the very bottom of your hole, using some words there, is your draft. So I know on this boat, my draft, just double checking for lobster traps up there, my draft is 18 inches. So I can pay attention to what my draft is when I'm in shallow water, going to a sandbar with my friends, maybe doing some fishing, whatever it is, knowing your draft and paying attention to your charts is gonna be really important. So you should always know your length, your beam, and your draft at all times. Maybe it's a marina you're talking to about getting a slip in. Maybe you're going fishing to the sandbar and you wanna see how shallow you can get your boat. We only have two terms left for today. One of the two is hatch. Hatch is an opening in your deck. So right now I'm actually standing on the bow hatch in our vessel. So let's go ahead and see what's in this thing. Today's bow hatch contains a grapple anchor that's a little bent out of shape and three tackle fishing boxes full of tackle. So hatches are great places to store things. This hatch itself can actually also be an ice box and store fish. Now sometimes instead of the word hatch in our world, in the center console world, we use the word fish box or some people just use the word box. So this forward hatch for us, we just call it our forward hatch or bow hatch because we use it for storage and then our back two hatches that are on the port and starboard side in the transom, we call them our fish boxes. Just, it's easy vocabulary for us. Hey Emily, where's the bait? Oh, it's in the port fish box. Where's the mahi? It's in the starboard fish box. Where's the tackle? It's in the bow hatch. Our last word is the word cleat. Now cleat is a tie down point on your vessel right here. I am standing right next to my port midship cleat. Now, understanding all these words is very important because we might be going to dock the boat with our friends and maybe the current is pushing me backwards, so I need a spring line. We're gonna have to go into more terms in another episode because what's a spring line? We are going to need a line on our port midship cleat. I can't stand at the helm and say, well, this one's close enough, so I probably could just say that one right there. But I can't stand at the helm and say, 
that one or that one or the left one or the right one because it's always changing when you're turning around. So if your friends understand port, starboard, bow, midship, aft, when docking a boat, those are the most important ones. And I will go ahead and throw in one more fun fact. There are no such thing as ropes on a boat, only lines. A rope is what makes up a line. So a rope is usually used for raw material. A line is the finished product. So I'm going to toss you a dock line. I will give you a spring line. Can you grab my bow line? We don't say, can you grab my bow rope or <laughs> my anchor rope, my anchor line. So in the boat, we don't say rope on boat, just line. Before we go, Amanda, how about I give you a little bit of a test? Okay, let's hear it. Can you do me a favor? Take a line, put it in the floor hatch in the bow, and then take a second line and tie it to the bow cleat. Okay, so follow me. Grabbing my line, putting it in the floor hatch in the bow, close that hatch up, and then grabbing a line and putting it on the bow cleat. Loop it through. Oops, a little too fast. There we go. Did I pass, Emily? Yes, you passed, Amanda. Emily, I'm gonna test you from behind the camera. All right, Amanda, I'm ready. What am I standing on top of right now? You're standing on top of a fish box or a hatch on the port side. Exactly, is it in the bow or the stern of the vessel? It is in the stern of the vessel. Very near, good. Near the transom. Exactly, and what would you call this right here? That would be a port, well, it's the sink. Port hatch, you could say port hatch, port sink, port side, in the transom. In the transom, not the stern. This is specifically the transom. Our libel is in the transom. Our, we access our bilge from our stern hatch. Emily, where am I sitting? You are sitting at the helm. Very good. That was a <laughs> trick question because now where would you say I'm standing? You're at the console. Exactly. Next and to the console. At the console. On the helm. port side. On the port side. All right, give me something harder, Amanda. I don't know. This is this is a 101 day. What, I, I need to think for a sec. That is going to conclude our Boat Anatomy Vocabulary Terminology 101 episode. We hope you guys found this helpful, especially if you're a new boater. If you liked it and you want to see some 102 or 201, I don't know, I'm not in college anymore, vocabulary in the boating industry, drop a comment, let us know. In the meantime, we want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe. Our next anatomy turn, turn. <laughs> From a line and a boat. In the boat. A boat? A line and a boat. <laughs> I got this, ready? But if we were to have a cabin, a cabin is a place for cabin, or for cabin. Hatch is an opening in your deck. <laughs> What's the difference from a line? Wait, but you, that would be the hole. The side of that boat that really is, that was good, I like. Our next term we have, Wait, our, you said our next okay, term. Okay, you're right. Just be like, just don't say it, just start it. Try to start over? Yeah. It's Daddy again. Did I answer it? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Earlier we talked about the, what did I talk about earlier? The hole. Hello? Hi. <laughs>